Oh, really, she is normal compared to her son. And if you could see him, you'd say, he's one who's nuts. During the war, he seemed quite sage. And in serving his prince, showed some courage. But now he's become an absolute fool since he gave himself up to Tartuffe's rule. He calls him his brother and the love of his life. More dear than mother, daughter, son, or wife. He's the sole confidant to all his secrets and the sole director of all his projects. He caresses him, kisses him, and could not show a mistress more love and affection than he gives to this leech. At the dinner table, he gives him the highest place and watches with joy as he stuffs his face with cakes and tarts and often the best part of a pig. And should he happen to hiccup or fart, he says, God be with you. He's mad about him. His honey, his hero, he always admires him admires his deeds, his smallest acts are miracles, and even his stupidest words are oracles. Tartuffe, who uses his dupe to make a fuck, knows a hundred wily ways to pluck this duck. He rakes off great sums with his biblical bull and demands the right to censor us all. <laughs> oh, his foolish footman has such presumption, even he dares to give us instruction. Madly preaching, he scatters with eyes of fire, our ribbon, our rouge, and our best attire. <laughs> Last night, he ripped up with his bare hands a kerchief left lying in the Holy Lands, claiming our crime was truly gigantic in mixing what's holy with what's satanic.